Good morning, athletes. It's Friday. You've made it another week. Uh, Disco Fitness live at the Barn <laughs> Theatre. Not where yeah. it was. We're still here, live at the Barn Theatre, Sirencester, in the Cotswolds. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm still David from CrossFit Sirencester, aka Coach Disco, and this is. I'm Anna, and thank you again for joining us. So, as it's Friday and it is our last day of our skill week, which is weightlifting, we will be doing our retest. So, the same workout as we did on Monday. So we'll go through our little warm-up. We're going to use that Bergner warm-up again to start our session off. So you get a bit of a break from the general warm-up today. Uh, and then we're going to go through some skill work, yeah. some, some slightly more advanced lifting techniques to help you with understanding how that snatch works and some of you getting under that bar a little faster. And then it's something that you can take away and practice. Yeah, you don't need much weight for this kind of stuff. You can just do it with a PVC pipe or a broom or a mop. It's a nice, nice few drills that work really well to develop that speed under the bar. And then we get into our workout, which is our retest workout. Um, so like David said, the warm-up today, we are going to move through it a lot faster. So it is, gets the heart rate up as we've already done it on Monday. So you kind of should already know the movement. Yeah, and it's been pretty straightforward. Just literally just copy us and you can... Switch then. Yep. Um, and our quote today. Train yourself to see the good in every situation. There's always something positive, no matter how bad the situation is. Even me forgetting what I'm, where I am and who I am and all that stuff. <laughs> right, so if you grab your broomstick, PPC pipe, or if you do have a light barbell. So we're going to start off with our snatch pulls. So hook grips. We're going to work from the top of the knee, standing up tall and shrugging up as hard as you can. We're going to do five repetitions. Arms stay straight. Okay, so now we get your elbows bent. So we're going to do a high pull this time. Top of the knee again. And then elbows high and wide. And a muscle snatch. We're going to start from the hip. Elbows high and wide, turn that bar over. Elbows high and wide, turn that bar over. Let's go a little bit lower, mid of the thigh, and turn the bar over. Mid thigh, turn the bar over. Top of the knee. Good, keep it overhead, moving our feet. So we're going to drop down two inches, standing upright. Make sure those arms are locked out tight. That was four. A little lower again, six and eight. Okay, back through again, two inches, down to four inches, six inches, or a depth that feels challenging for you. And we can rest that bar on the shoulder behind your head. So from here we're going to do a push press. Got yesterday's jerk, that's coming in a second. Dip and press out. Try five. Yep. I'm going to jerk this time. So it's going to be a dip, drive, and catch. So it's a jump movement. And stand. So yes, you had a narrow grip doing a power or push jerk. Coming in front today is a wide snatch grip. Behind the neck. Keep it overhead. We're going to overhead squat. Again, watch a depth that feels safe for you. Same squat protocol, knees out of little toes. I'm going to put a couple together now. So we're going to try the push press and the overhead squat. Push press and then squat. Let's try three of these. Push press and squat. One more. And squat. Snatch balance next. So that jump again, jump and catch, and ride the squat. Ride that squat down. Three reps. Reset the feet. Ride that squat. One more. Good. Back in front. Let's talk a little bit about the power position on Monday. So that's your hip crease. From here, so jump, catch overhead. Reset. So we're going to try some squat snatch today. So I'm going to demonstrate a squat snatch. You can do a normal one. Yeah, sure. So I'm going to squat snatch. 
and it's doing power once. Let's go a little bit lower down, top of the, about the middle of the thigh. One power. And one squat. Top of the knee from the hang. One power. One squat. And then finally below the knee for your power and squat. Push that floor away, jump the catch. And squat. That concludes your burglar. Take a little breather. Time to go through a couple of drills. We are indeed. So these drills are some of the accessory work that we do in our weightlifting program. And again, it will be something that you can take away from this week and practice, which will help develop your skills. So we use a lot of video stuff to make sure that where things going, the bar pass are moving safely, you're able to get stuff under the bar, elbows and I think not bending too early. So the first one we're gonna try is a slow motion snatch. So I'm gonna go through and do a slow motion snatch and Anne's gonna talk you through it as we go through the movement. Okay, so the setup position is just like we did on Monday. Obviously, because we're working above the floor because we don't have plates, we're just gonna work from mid chin. So you're gonna take the bar to mid chin. Now, we always talk about that back position. We want to maintain that back position throughout the movement. Yeah, if you do it side on, it's a lot better. So, as we extend up, the knees start to move back. The bar stays in contact with the body at all times. So on the legs, it should be moving up the legs, not away from it, so we're moving in towards the body. As we travel further up, the knees start moving forwards in front of the bar. Now, when we get to our power position, we should be now our shoulders in line or directly over the bar. And what David's gonna do is go into his triple extension that we talked about yesterday. So where the ankles, knees and hips are fully locked out to create loads of power pushing through the floor. When you're in your tallest position, so where your shoulders are nice and high, and he is going to drop underneath the bar. Now that's a lot of information to take in. So let's, let's do it one more time, break it down nice and slow. So just move along with us. So your setup position. Remember your back position, chest nice and high. So your knee and ankle in that setup position should be nice and straight. The knees move back, knees then move forwards. We do a tall, tall shrug and we catch. And again, do you want to do one more? So we set up, chest is high, back in neutral. Move up the body, the bar moves in, the knees move forward. We're in our power position. We start our triple extension. Somewhere at the tallest point, we drop underneath to catch the bar. So there are a lot of elements to the snatch. There's about seven or eight points that we really need to focus on, which can take a very, very long time. So you can understand why this lift takes quite a while to get really, really good at. And again, it's really important that you practice these in slow motion because it does allow you to find those weak muscle groups. So I can feel that mostly in my upper back. My body wants to start collapsing in from when I'm getting tired holding that bar. Absolutely. Um, so it's positional strength training. Absolutely. Um, and not being scared of the barbell either. The barbell will stay in contact. It will get really, really close to the body. We don't want to have a barbell that's too far forwards because that means we are not going to be able to catch in a good position. Yeah, think about the basic science of the movement, so the biomechanics or the physics of the movement. If I'm holding a bar out right here that weighs 100 kilos, that's going to be feel a lot heavier than when I'm holding a bar in here. And that's the reason why we try and keep that bar as close to what as we can. As a general rule, we say no further forwards on that first lace in your shoe. Yes. That's why we don't see us doing this. It's up. So, we're going to move on to a drop snatch, which is one of my favourite movements. This is going to help you understand that you are catching the barbell and that you're not pulling it. So we want to go down, not up at this point. So we're imagining the bar is already at its tallest point that can possibly go. So what David's going to do is just drop into his bottom of squat position and the bar is going to go straight overhead. So it looks like this. Just do it side on one more time and then I'll explain a little bit more. Your own time. Now, what you 
probably would have noticed is that David didn't generate any momentum going up. He literally just let himself drop, lock out his arms to catch the bar. So he's not pressing the bar. Go again. I'm so actually pushing that myself not, down. Yeah, he's not going up. He's just going down. Now, this can be quite difficult. So the in-between movement is that um, snatch balance that we did in the warm-up where you can slowly start to move yourself down. So you can see it's just that transition movement until you build your confidence to just drop all the way down. So that's the snatch balance. And now do you drop snatch so you'll see the difference straight away. See the difference? <laughs> There's a big difference. I think if any of you are really struggling getting used to pushing yourself down or there's a temptation to do this dip and drive, simply up on your toes. Yeah. On so your you toes, can you can't jump any higher. The only place to go is down. So, talking about on your toes, the next movement that we're going to show you is actually called a tall snatch. Oof. So, this is working when we're in our tallest position, so when we're in that full extension position and there's no, no further way to get any higher. So David's what he's going to do is come up onto his toes, he's going to shrug his shoulders nice and high so he's in that full extension and then he is going to drop. So we're working the other way. So he is getting as tall as he possibly can so there's no way this bar can go any further. So what he has to do then is pull himself and catch the bar underneath. It's probably quite difficult to see, but what's actually happening is the bar really isn't travelling any higher. David's actually pulling himself underneath the bar. So what we can do is we can get Anna to hold the bar. Yeah, it might be easier if you hold me doing yeah, it. Yeah, OK, that's fine. You're stronger than me <laughs> to hold the bar. So again, don't do this at home, but it's just because <laughs> we're obviously coached, we can do this safely. So Anna's going to go to the highest point of a pull. I'm going to stabilise the bar. Anna's going to drop into a squat. And stand it up. And you can see the height stays the same, so you have to just get straight underneath yeah. it. Yeah, it is a really good challenge. So I'm going to give you a couple of minutes now just to go through these. We're going to go through a couple more reps of each one just so you get a chance to practice. We'll start with the slow motion. So Anna's on the bar, so she's going to start with our slow motion snatch. Let's aim to do three of each thing. Again, slow motion means slow motion. Butts down low, chest up and proud, knees come through. As tall as we can go, pull yourself under that bar. So the difference there was Anna moved her feet, was my feet, I did a no jump snatch. You may have heard Anna move her feet. <laughs> so it's, it's been the last bit. One more. That's three. So ideally your feet needing to move. Drop snatches. Anna's favourite. Yeah, these are my favourite. So again, weight-wise, you would normally expect us to be able to lift more on a drop snatch you can on an actual snatch because you're only pushing yourself down. Certainly on those snatch balances, you can definitely lift more than a normal snatch. In terms of normal weights, we expect our competition athletes to be able to do body weight for their snatches, really. That's a, a good weight for a CrossFit competition. And then your tall snatches. So three reps on the tall snatches, as tall as you possibly can. I don't like can. these ones. <laughs> tall as you possibly can, go, shrug as hard as you can and drop. So it's practicing that turnover. And those muscle snatches at the beginning of the session, the Bergners, we're flicking that wrist over. It allows us to practice that as our drill. One to go. Good. Just in time for the retest. retest. Okay. Let's recap the retest. So we have a 21, 15, 9. 21 squat snatches, 21 burpees over the barbell. You want to demo? So, would we'll you do your squat snatch? So, again, hook grips, working from below the knee, that low hang. So, it's 21 repetitions before you can move on to 21 burpees over the bar. So, just do one burpee to demo. Jump over. And we jump over the bar laterally. Now again, if you found that too difficult, there was the option of doing the power snatch and just stepping over the bar for your burpee. So power snatch, remove the squat. That 
quite simple. We've done that quite a lot this week, so you should be quite familiar with it now. And then just stacking over the bar in your burpee. So you do 21 of each, 15 of each, nine of each. We have a six minute time cap. So we're trying to better our time that we did on Monday. Or if you didn't complete it, just try and get a little bit further than you did. Even an extra rep will make quite a big difference. Absolutely. So remember, me and David will share the work, but you will be doing this all on your own. So let's get the clock ready. Get ready, guys, because we're about to start the workout. Oh, 40 minutes. What kind of workout insanity is that? No. Six <laughs> minutes. OK, athletes, 10 seconds. Sevens? Yeah, so we're going to divide ours in three. Our system reps in threes. So again, starting below the knee, make sure you complete that rep, stand fully upright. Whether you're doing the power snatch, whether you're squat snatching, the rep only counts you stand fully upright under control of that bar. So as Anna finishes, she'll step forwards. So remember your options, the squat snatch or the power snatch. Like David said, we want to make sure we're using the correct technique. Over speed. Seven to go. Last seven. That's one minute team, a little time check. The last time we can speak before we start those burpees. Okay, that's seven, so into our burpees. Two foot jumps, otherwise it's just a step. Oh, one more. Seven to go for us. We're into our round of 15 snatches. So 15 we're divided by three again. Fives, happy with that? Yep. Definitely push heart rate up. Yep. <laughs> you can feel that guys. Just keep moving. Rest when you need to. Remember we've only got six minutes on the clock. Oh. You do an extra. How are you yeah. doing? I'll do eight. Okay. <laughs> eight. Seven to go bring it home. Four ones coming up, team. It's 15. Okay, so nine's to go. You're doing really well, guys. Keep going. Last 
Five. Four to go. Four to go. Woo. From the five or the four on the burpees? I don't mind. You just... Final set of burpees. Oh, I think we're going to do it. Be our time. Go. Comes hat. Four to go. One, two, three, and four. It's nine. Do it. All well done, athletes. Keep going, guys, if you're still working. Hang in there, team. You got this. So just over a minute left. And we're squeezing out every rep we possibly can. Absolutely. Trying to beat those rounds, round reps you did last time, all your time. 15 seconds faster. Yeah. Like that, I think. 45 seconds, athletes. End is now in sight. You can hang on now. Keep working towards yeah, that end. Yeah, keep going. Keep moving. Only stop on that beep. And if you've already finished, well done. 30 seconds to go. 30 seconds remaining on that clock. Stick with the last few reps. So close. Don't stop now to get up to that beep. Just keep going. Find those reps out. It's going to be challenging. Just keep going. 15 seconds. Hang on. A few more seconds of work. Here it comes, that glorious 10 seconds. Yep. Now it's all over in five. The end is in sight. Four, three, two, two. one, time. and time. Good work, athletes. Well done, guys. That's probably the worst test we've done, I think. You think? I think. Well done. You get a virtual high five. You guys get high fives. Well done. Superstars. A little cool down. You need to cool down, definitely. Okay. <laughs> So for me, most of that was my abs. Yeah, I think as well it's going to be a lot of shoulder and tricep and chest work. So we come down to the floor. Now, you need to be in a comfortable position for this. So either feet together or you can cross your legs. This will just depend on your mobility. So just be comfortable. We're going to take one elbow down to the side and we're going to arch over. So really stretching all of our obliques actually taking it into the lats and the deltoids and just try and relax in that position and then we're going to switch over to the other side like a beautiful mermaid perched on a rock <laughs> not with your bent arm i'm stretching <laughs> Engine at my elbow. <laughs> okay, we take both hands behind you, keep the chest nice and tall, hands towards the floor, and we pull those shoulders back. Now, if your deltoids and biceps are quite tight, you're going to feel that on there too. But you're going to feel that across the chest in here as well. And then we're going to bring the hands together in front and we're going to arch them out like we're holding something quite big. <laughs> Again, now we're just stretching the back out. Hugging a unicorn is what I'm doing. <laughs> Shock. And then we just take one leg out, bring the other foot nice and close to you, and we stretch towards that foot. Now, if you're quite mobile, just stretch over your toes. It's exactly the same and try and keep this knee as close to the floor. That will intensify the stretch. If you want to come closer to your leg to get right into your lower back, that's absolutely fine. And that will intensify the stretch on your back of your leg, your hamstring. And then we switch. So the other leg goes out straight. Sole the foot in. We reach over. Make sure this knee stays nice and down. And come nice and low if you need to intensify it. And then we slowly release. Feet together in front. Stretch forward, last one. 
over your toes or as far as you can reach. And you are done, guys. So that was another tough week. So we hope you enjoyed weightlifting. Yeah, so that was just skill. a brief introduction to the skill. There is a lot more to learn, isn't there? Yeah, most definitely. As soon as you start adding weights, things change and balance points, you're, it's very marginal as to whether you make a lift or not. It can be two millimetres out and you won't make the lifts. And if you things. had a little taste of it and really enjoyed it and want to know more, then please do get in contact with us. We do do one-to-ones in weightlifting and workshops and online training, so you can just contact us at CrossFit Siren Sister to do that because we want you to do it safely. <laughs> well, we hope you've enjoyed it. Again, keep supporting the barn. Keep and we have all these, another uh, week programs. left. Yeah of our six-week plan. Yep. So we will see you again next week, and we hope you have a brilliant weekend. Catch you on Monday, team. <laughs>